You know, people's initial reaction when I show them the science behind uh, the benefits of whole food, plant-based diet are, are varied. Uh, some people get very, very excited about it and, and start eating this way, and uh, many people, in fact, and, and have significant improvements on their energy and their health and get so excited that they want to um, sort of pontificate it to other people and spread it to the point where they may be, how should I put it, maybe a little overzealous in their excitement. And I think that's really cool and cute, but I think you got to be careful about that because uh, as with any message, you know, when you're trying to convince somebody, it's good to be passionate about it. I think it is. I'm pretty passionate about plant-based nutrition, but, but if you're too pushy, the natural tendency in human beings is, is, to, is to put up resistance. So I think, as I often say to people, is, you know, if people ask you a question about plant-based nutrition, be polite and, and offer them areas to learn about it more. Like, if they have no exposure to it, suggest that they watch a documentary like Forks Over Knives, and then kind of leave it and let them come back to you if they got further questions. And that's hard to do sometimes, especially, and I know it is, because when I'm passionate about it, you just want to tell people, you want to help people, but sometimes sometimes too much too soon can overwhelm people and and trigger all kinds of negative emotions in people including that oh you're eating plant-based or do you think you're better than me and then they get kind of resistant and they think you're offending them and so so the emotion around food like i would often say in clinic uh the emotion around when you're asking people things about bowel habits and sexual habits you think those things are emotional filled there's nothing as emotionally loaded as what people eat. It's an amazing, emotional, very visceral, defensive topic for the majority of people. So, so what people eat is a very, very personal, personal thing. So you need to tread carefully. I think the most powerful, as I say to my patients, and hopefully from you know where we try to live healthier, is, is being an example. So when people hear about you eating a certain way, nobody eats perfectly, but you're trying to do your best, and since you've changed your eating habits, you've seen a lot of benefits. You're slimmer, your skin looks healthier, you got more energy, you got, you're sleeping better. I think that's the best billboard to help advertise and educate and inform people, because if they're really interested, they'll come to you and genuinely ask you more questions, and they're curious, and they'll, 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 you can direct them to reputable references in this area. But people don't really want to be, uh, they don't want to be uh, converted in an aggressive way. They, they don't want to be given a sermon on, oh, you're killing the animals or you're damaging the environment. People need to, nobody wants to be told what to do. I think this, uh, I've learned that the hard way uh, over the past number of years at this message. But just give them the message gently and then leave the door open for further questions. And the best, most convincing way you can convince people that plant-based nutrition is the optimal way to live is to live it yourself and be an example of, uh, of a healthier lifestyle.